Welcome back to another video guys. My name is Nicky and I'm part of the Tungsten 180 YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to repoint your darts with this Harrow's Easy Repointer System. Let's get right to it. So this is the Harrow's Repointer, the Easy Repointer. It comes in this nice little bag. These are the pieces it brings with it. This is for the top one, and this one you use to tighten and loosen the ones in the bottom. So I'm just using a standard Harrow's barrel, 95% tungsten barrel. First of all, you have to screw this all the way to the top. It comes all the way at the bottom in the packaging, so without a problem, we just screw it all the way up. What I will be doing, I will remove the point of this barrel, like you do with any other regular barrel to change point, and then I'll add simply the same point back on. One tip guys, always remember, no matter what, don't, for example, let's say you have a Harrow's barrel, never buy a target point for a Harrow's barrel, because sometimes it won't fit. Either the point will be too small, too thin for the hole of the barrel, or it'll be too thick and the and the hole of the barrel is too thin so just bear that in mind next step you screw this on here you screw the barrel onto that and then this you've got to make sure it's loosened you loosen it up and then you screw this back down just remember to leave everything tight once you're done screwing this down, right about there, you can see that that's around perfectly fine. So now you get the smaller one, which is for these, and you twist it to tighten it up. First of all, you can do it with your fingers to make it a bit easier to get it a bit tighter. And then once you can't do it with your fingers anymore, just tighten it with these, and it'll be a lot easier. This step, it does have to be pretty tight. But as it does say on the box, never pressure the bolts, like never push them too much because it can break them. So once it's very tight, just make sure you have it very, very, very tight. You try, you kind of twist it with your hand, obviously. So you use the bigger one and you start untwisting it and you can feel it release. You can feel that release of the points. Once you felt it, you just keep on spinning it and simply the barrel releases from the point as you can see there. Perfect. And once you put that down, I say I dropped it, you can unscrew this with your hand again. And see, you have released the point from the barrel. Then you have to obviously loosen this back up. Loosen it as much as you can so it's comfortable to get the points back out. Perfect, just loosen it. Sometimes it does get very, very tight, but that is okay. Just remember never to pressure the bolts, and that's it. Once you loosen it, it does, it does require quite a bit of force, obviously, because these stuff aren't easy. If it's easier for you, you can even take it all the way off. No problem with that. Then remember to just untighten this one. Sometimes it can take a bit of force as you have seen, but all around it is fine. And your point is off your barrel. I will unscrew this for you to get a better look. As you can see, no damage done towards the barrel or towards the point. This is some, these are some wear out barrel points, but it doesn't matter, it works the same for all of them. Okay, so we will now be adding the point back on the barrel. So we do the same thing as we started off last time, just screwing the barrel back onto here. Um, remember what I said before, the barrel and the point should always be the same make, the same brand, 
because if not you could have a lot of complications and you won't be able okay so you have to put the point in here you don't you have to leave it around half half but maybe a bit more on this end always depends on the size of the point and stuff so you leave it there okay so you get lined on that and now we have to tighten this remember we can just tighten it a bit with our hands until we cannot tighten it anymore and then we get the smaller the smaller one and we tighten it as much as we can in this situation you don't have to tighten it as much as removing the point but still make sure that it is tight on the don't pressure the ball so you should be okay so now this this is also good because it is a self it's self aligning system so never hold it like this because you won't be able to align it properly always with the hand opened so you can see if you're aligning your dart properly screw it all the way down and as it is a self aligning system you just align it with your points and you've put it in and once you can't twist with your hand anymore you turn to the bigger one and then with this bigger one you fit it in and you keep on twisting okay let's make sure it's the right way self align it properly it will take you a few tries to get used to it obviously if you haven't done it before so i recommend never do it first on your new set of darts always practice with an older set and then once you get the hang of it and you think you have mastered it then you can do it with your new set of darts just in case you do create a problem of some sort so then just tighten it and just keep on going till you cannot do it anymore you will need to add a bit more force in this situation because we are putting the dart the point of the dart back in the barrel and we want to make sure that it just doesn't come out mid game nor you're playing so just keep on tightening it and once it's tight you loosen up these again just make sure to loosen them up again it will be tight they will be hard to get off if you do it properly sometimes they're also hard to get off from the from this iron key but with more practice you will always get the job done easier my my um my advice is get it off completely so you can see what see if you've done it better etc so i do get it off all the way but you don't have to if you don't want to now you can unscrew it up all the way again and you unscrew it off this and as you can see the point is back on the barrel and that is not getting off by its own so that's how you do it and i hope you all you all have understood me and you're able to do it on your own now well guys i hope you all enjoyed that video and i hope it helps all of you out there trying to record new dots so some love this channel, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.